Hi Internet, as some of you may know, I'm currently developing a free and open source Pi menu called Kandu, which will be available for Windows and for Linux. You can already download this prototype here and play around with it. It's not yet a functional menu, but still you can get already a pretty decent idea how the interaction with the menu will be like in the future. Yeah, as I said before, Kandu will run on Windows and on Linux. However, on Linux there exist many different desktop environments. And while Kandu will most likely work out of the box on most X11 based desktop environments, I actually have to implement a custom backend for each and every Valent compositor. I have already done this for GNOME and KDE. And now I'm happy to announce that I finally managed to implement a new backend for Hyperland. Here I have a copy of Hyperland running. And as you can see, it's now perfectly possible to run the prototype on Hyperland. You can interact with the menu um, as you would expect. And you can also, of course, open the sidebar up here. And yeah, the tutorial videos are working. And also the example actions, you can also play around with them. So for instance, if I press here this button, uh, Kandu will simulate the Alt Tab shortcut twice actually. So Hyperland will switch once to another window and then back again. So yeah, here we go. And yeah, there are also some, some other example actions included. For instance, uh, opening a file browser here or opening um, a web page. Yeah, and this all. All works now in Hyperland. Um, yeah, there's also another example. Um, yeah, it's actually actually a keyboard macro here. So if I press this button, Kandu will first simulate Control C, then move the cursor to the end of the selection, and then uh, simulate Control V. So basically, it duplicates any selected text. So to yeah, to test this, I will just open up a text editor here. And yeah, if I select something here and then hit this button in the sidebar, the selected text is uh, duplicated. Yeah, another feature of each and every Kandu backend is to get the name of the currently focused application window. So you can see the command line output of Kandu and you can see that it actually always prints the name of the currently focused application. So whenever I open the menu, it prints either foot, which is the name of the terminal window here, or code, because I opened it above VS Code in the background. Also, um, maybe I can show you here a quick glimpse of the upcoming menu editor. Um, I will make a dedicated video about this in the future, but this also already works on Hyperland. Well, one issue I have here is that Kandu is drawn below Waybar here at the top. This looks kind of ugly and I haven't figured out a proper way to fix it, this yet. Yeah, anyway, so the list of supported desktop environments is growing. For now, I have tested Kandu besides Hyperland. I have tested it on GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXDE, LXQT, Cinnamon, Mate, Bachi, Openbox, and of course on Windows. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you want to support the development uh, of the project, just head over to my Kofi page. The link is um, somewhere, somewhere down there. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.